This is Eric Rutan from Haiti Eternal. Horns up. Four Horns are Press, George Shufton from Tantos Party House, and I'm here with Eric Rutan from Hate Eternal, originally from New Jersey, now in Florida, but of course, death metal is what took you to Florida, so why don't you take us a little bit into your transition from going to, from playing death metal in New Jersey and now in Florida? Yeah, I'm definitely, a, I'm a Jersey guy at heart, uh, transplanted to Florida, obviously. Um, you know, I grew up in Jersey and uh, played in Ripping Corpse, you know, which was a Jersey band from way back in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and then, um, you know, we, we split up, but I, I went to school in New York. I went to the Institute of Audio Research uh, right down there in the village for audio engineering. Um, and after Ripping Corpse broke up, I ended up joining Morbid Angel and moved to Florida. Uh, and now I have Hate Eternal. I started in uh, 97 and also I have a recording studio in Florida. and. Uh, centrally located down there near the beach in St. Petersburg, Florida. But um, I've been playing death metal for over 20 years now and now I'm producing some of my favorite death metal bands as well as like some amazing hardcore legends, uh, Madball and Agnostic Front I, I produced and recorded this year which was phenomenal. You know, uh, growing up in Jersey back in the Ribbon Corpse days, you know, we did lots of shows with well, thrash bands, hardcore bands, death metal, so I'm a pretty uh, Listen to all kinds of stuff, so it's been awesome to be able to produce such killer bands like them and Cannibal Corpse and Goat Whore and Sonly Green and I've worked with Nile and a little bit, you know, with Morbid Angel obviously and so on. But. So tell us a little bit about the production of the new record and I mean I know the response has been huge so far. It has, yeah. It's been, uh, which I'm always prepared for the worst because uh, in this business you got to have a tough shell to handle the criticisms that come uh, your way. So I'm kind of used to just like preparing myself, okay, well, some people are going to love it, some people are going to hate it, but uh, this one's been really well received. And uh, with Phoenix Amongst the Ashes, I really wanted to kind of have a very organic, kind of warm, heavy as hell sound, like kind of, you know, in the 80s, 90s, early 90s, death metal type of production, but a little bit more modern, you know, to keep with the times. But uh, really happy with how Phoenix Amongst the Ashes came out and... When I was finished with the record, it's really the first record with Hate Eternal where from a production standpoint, I felt like it really captured the essence and the dynamics of what the band represent. And um, I've, I've been striving for that for years, obviously. Uh, so kind of when the record was done, I said to myself, you know what, man, I, I'm really pretty happy with it. And that's very hard because I'm a perfectionist kind of guy. I'm not easily satisfied, but I was really satisfied and told myself, well, no matter what, if I can, in my heart, I feel pleased. That's that's a that's a miracle in itself. So that to have the fans and and even the reviews be positive has been pretty tremendous for me and a a great accomplishment after all these years of of doing this to uh, finally feel like I got the it's like the pinnacle of of our band's career with this record so far. So Eric, how hard was it for you to divide yourself as a musician as a producer on the new Hate Eternal record and also when you're in the studio with other bands? Well, dividing myself as a producer in my own band is the hardest because you know you're so close to it all the time from beginning to end and you're you, it's really hard to separate and I've had a problem with that in the past I mean to the point where I've even thought about having someone else mix or something but at the end of the day I know what I want to get and I just had to really tight tr kind of um, separate it all this time around what I did separate what I did differently uh, for Hate Eternal was we tracked guitars, bass, and drums at one point. And then I took a break from it. And I ended up um, recording Agnostic Front, uh, My Life, My Way. And, and then I came back to the Hate Eternal to do vocals and mix and solo. And even though I didn't take a vacation, I just having a break from my own record for a little while after being in it for months um, allowed me that fresh... Um, vision coming back and it was the best thing I ever did and I, I now I know for the future how to do things because you know we're doing pre-production for two months and then we're tracking so like we're three months in you know and then I'm usually finishing it all by the time I'm done I'm so burnt out because I'm not taking time and this time around I learned from my previous mistakes um, how to do um, 
you know, with other bands, it's really easy to separate because I'm all when I'm producing other bands, I'm the only thing on my in my life at that moment is them and making their record distinct and unique and uh, badass. So um, that's much easier. Doing my own record, oh man, it, it's it's a um, labor of love. You know, it's a love hate relationship I got with doing my own albums. But my dream as a kid in Jersey, you know, playing my first shows it was always to have my own studio and, and record my own band someday and friends of mine's bands and stuff and even when I was in school, you know, uh, up in New York and I, you know, I'd be in school, I'd be like, man, someday I'm going to record my own stuff and, and I never knew I'd end up doing as much as I have though. Um, I've been very fortunate, you know, to be able to do what I've been able to do, uh, producing all of these amazing bands that I admire and respect. And also the performance part. Let's not forget why we're here today in the first place. We're in New York City, some, some uh, pretty close from your hometown in Jersey. Mm -hmm. And how do you get prepared for a show like this? I mean, uh, you were saying before, there's a lot of family coming, so you obviously want to impress everybody who's coming tonight. It's intense, but you know what? I'm, I'm used to pressure and stress. Like, to me, yeah, I'll lose my mind a little bit today, but you know what? I'll take that out on stage. I'll deal with it up there. And uh, for me, playing New York, man, I mean, it's, it's the best. You know, I love New York always have um playing here is like playing my hometown to me you know so um i'm definitely going to give it the best i got and and uh it's always an honor to play new york man the big apple fucking love new york and and uh, i'm really excited about the show tonight Eric, I want to thank you on behalf of all the death metal fans in New York for bringing Head Eternal and also for giving us two of the best records in hardcore in the last five years, My Life, My Way, and the Madball record, Empire. Both are like really well-received records. And, you know, it's because no matter where you come from, no matter what you do, you never forget yours. You're proving this. Yeah. You never forget your roots. And uh, to, to, to record Madball Agnostic Front was awesome. Uh, legends. Yeah, legends in hardcore, New York hardcore. And... Uh, great guys and I'm really proud of those records and you know I'm very very fortunate and feel very proud to have so many fans in New York that support me and everything I do and follow my career from Jersey to now and you know it, it's it's amazing you know I, I never take it for granted I never take the people for granted either and that's why uh, I keep working hard to be better at my crafts and uh, look forward to seeing everybody here tonight. Right, Eric, I want to thank you. So much, Anybody out there who hasn't picked up the fifth studio album of Hate Eternal, Phoenix Amongst the Ashes, make sure you pick it up because it is one of the hard hitters of this year. And you're going to be supporting these guys. You know, it's never easy. The reason why he's so busy is because he said, as he said before, he's lucky. He has his production studio. He's got his band, many musical projects. But we all got to support each other because right now, times are hard for everybody in the music industry. So go pick up the record. Highly recommend it. And right now, we're going to go crank up some death metal upstairs. We have a great show here at Santos Party House. We're going to sign off. Thank you, man. Yeah. This is all fit, so I'll see you outside. Oh, damn.